Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Layla and today's video I'm going to be talking about how I converted from Islam to Christianity. So just a disclaimer, my family are all Muslim, my parents are Muslim as well. This video is in no way shape or form a video to disrespect one religion over another. I was brought up a Muslim and I cherish those values that I've been taught, you know, the morals that I've been taught. So I would never ever disrespect another religion or, you know, judge and be like, yeah, this way's right and your way's wrong. That's not what this video is about. This is my testimony, how I went from a Muslim that prayed five times a day, you know, fasted every Ramadan, being so devoted to it, obviously believing that I was content in it, to finding Christ as my Lord and Saviour. So just to start off with, like being a Muslim, there was nothing wrong with Islam. You know, I was very much devoted to the faith and it was great because my parents were Muslim and I was able to learn so much from them. I didn't go to Christianity straight away. The first thing that kind of led me away from Islam is obviously when I went to uni. As a young person, you're just trying to figure yourself out. You know, everything's quite confusing in the world, especially when there's so many religions. I don't know if anyone's had that issue, but for me, that was my main issue. I was just like, you know, there's just so many different religions and it was just so confusing for me. And I just felt like, you know, God is not a God of confusion. So why is there so many different religions out there? If he is the one true God, whoever he says he is, why is there so many religions saying he's this and saying he's that? So that really took me a step back and I just thought, this just looks like um, just a confusing puzzle that I would never be able to solve. So I decided to just take a step back from it and just kind of live life my own way. And that only led me to the dark, which I'll get into. So during like my work experience days, um, halfway through uni, I was just working and I was kind of surrounded by people that didn't really believe in God and they were just so chill with it like they were happy and content so I thought okay so if they can you know just not believe in anything then maybe I can too and I won't have to think about the stress of you know this God being Allah or God being Christ you know what I mean I can just be at peace with myself you know no issues no you know confusion in my head so I thought that was the way to go but <laughs> let me, let me, let's let me talk about that. So I was literally just living my best life and that led me to a lot of sin and you know because I didn't understand God, I didn't understand the fear of him, you know I wasn't tormented about it because I completely took out of the whole concept of heaven and hell and even a God being there watching over me. I just thought you know what I'm just living my life so yeah and then there was just one day when I went into work and I had so much anxiety and depression all at once on that day it was very random because I was actually I actually thought I was at peace with myself but I realized looking back like my spirit was really crying out to God because I was trapped in the flesh I was trapped in you know worldly things and not knowing God I didn't even believe in God period I didn't believe that God was Allah God was Jesus I just thought you know what forget it so yeah so it led me to that point and I had thoughts of like just death and where I'm gonna go so what am I, am I just gonna perish like is that what it is so I had all of that torment on my heart and before like I didn't mind and I was okay with that I was okay with that but it just led me to a point where my spirit was just crying out and then I couldn't fathom the fact that I didn't actually have a purpose that's when it took me to realize no I can't live without God my spirit is even saying no you know it took me to go into the dark to realize that there is a God somewhere and I need to find him 
it came to a point where I had to go on my knees and I didn't think about obviously being brought up a Muslim I didn't think about praying in an Islamic way or a Christian way I wasn't even thinking about um, God in those senses I was just thinking about God in general so I remember just praying and crying out to God I didn't think about the way I had to pray because I knew that God would see me I know that God is all around me and if he is you know this powerful God um, I didn't think I had to pray in a certain way for him to receive my prayer so I just sat down and I just cried out to him like all of the pain all of the anxiety that I was feeling like I was just praying out to him and I just said to God like Lord please tell me who you are like who are you from that moment I was just hoping that God would reveal to me who he was because I knew that I couldn't live without purpose after I had that prayer people would just be meeting me in the most randomest places that it was it was so strategic it was so planned that I knew it wasn't by chance it wasn't by coincidence so the first encounter that I had was when I was on my way to like a work thing I was literally trying to book a cab and it just kept cancelling it just kept cancelling and cancelling and cancelling and I was thinking what is going on so I was in the middle of London Bridge just trying to book a cab like a normal person obviously it's very busy so I can understand like that but I've never like had so many cancellations I was just thinking rah so I thought to myself you know what let me just walk there or take the bus because this is just insane but then something just told me to just book it again so I just booked it one last time and then finally the cab accepted and I was in a cab with a pasta so obviously I didn't really think anything by it but it did have me thinking like oh like what is this and he started to talk to me about Christ and we just had a normal conversation he wasn't trying to you know convince me to be a Christian he was just talking about my faith and I was just talking about like my journey like me trying to seek God like I'm still trying to figure it out I came from a Muslim background so I was really open to anything at this point with like whatever God shows me whether it be through Islam or through Christianity or or even any other faith so I was just open to it so that's kind of the conversations that we had he even told me that he wasn't even a cab driver that was actually his last shift that day so from then I just thought wow like is God telling me something like it was just so weird the way every cab cancelled and you know it led me to meet him and it's not like I said in prayer, because I know some people say, oh, what you manifest into the world, it comes back to you. But when I asked God who he was, I didn't say, are you this, are you that? I just said, Lord, I want to know you, Lord, please show me who you are. Like, I don't need to pray in a certain way for you to receive my prayer, because if you love me enough and you want me to know the truth, then I know that you will show me. And it's through seeking him that I found him and I was able to receive all of these experiences. I remember going back from like after work drinks, I was pretty drunk, I'm not gonna lie. And um, I was walking on my way to the station to go home. It was dark and it was raining. And these two girls came up to me, very young. And then they just stopped me and was like, hey like how are you and just started talking to me about God like do you know who God is like what's your relationship like so we ended up going like under like a shelter just to talk um, and we was talking there for like an hour or two just about God and then I just started crying I just started crying saying like yeah I just want to know who God is like I prayed and I'm just trying to figure it out um and it was weird because I even asked them like did you mean to stop me and they were just like no like it was just really random I just felt the need to speak to you so even then I was just like wow also there was another experience that I had I was on my way back from a festival event and I just remember being on my phone and I just kept scrolling through Instagram and then 
I just saw crosses, 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 like people um, having crosses on their neck or just like random symbols of crosses on my feed. And I was just thinking, what? I'm in technology, so I know all these things about AI and like recommendations and stuff. I wasn't searching about Christianity or crosses. So <laughs> before people get onto me about that, um, but yeah, I was just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And I just kept seeing this symbol. And I was just thinking, what is going on? And then I remember looking up and then I saw a guy on a bike, a black guy on a bike, and he had a massive cross on his chest. And I was just thinking like, what is going on? I'm so, so confused. Um, so I just thought this was like blatantly God just trying to put it in my head. I am Christ, I am Jesus, this is who I am. Come to me sort of thing. Because I seeked him and asked him who he is. I just asked, God, generally, who are you? I had an encounter with Jesus um, when I was young and I thought it was from the wrong place, you know, you know, being brought up a Muslim. I think I was about seven, eight or nine years of age, but I was very young and it's the only dream that I actually remember at that age. Um, I remember I woke up in the middle of the night and I saw like a shadow so you know when it's dark and you kind of see the light from outside reflecting in and you see like a shadow of like maybe cars going past um I remember looking at it um because that was the first thing I saw when I woke up just the wall of um the shadow of cars going past and then afterwards I just saw a cross I was so scared that I went back to bed because I just thought it was from the wrong place. Obviously, being brought up a Muslim, I just thought, yeah, this is this is not right. This is wrong. You know, this ain't coming from the right place. So, you know, I obviously must have just forgot about it when I was young. But for some reason, I was reminded of it um, and I remembered it. So... And, and I believe that God was trying to show me who he was even before that, before I asked him because he knew that I would ask him. He wanted me to reflect on that dream that I had when I was so young. So yeah, man. And those, those are the least of the things that I've um, experienced. I've experienced a lot of spiritual things that have, have led me to Christ. But these are the ones that um, are based on my testimony. So yeah, man, these things are real. So then I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna reach out to my friend and go to church with her um, and just see how it goes and see if I can relate to it and stuff like that. Because although I saw all of these signs, you know, I wanted to know the depths of God and I wanted him to make me feel a way that nothing else could ever make me feel like. So I definitely needed a bit more convincing. So I decided to take it upon myself to go to my friend's church. So I went there and I just remember like a lot of gospel singers, like a choir just singing gospel songs and it was beautiful. And I just remember listening to it and just seeing people's love for God and how much they just pour out their hearts to God and you know, just rejoice and glorify him and worship. And then I just started crying uncontrollably. Like I just uncontrollably couldn't stop crying. And I didn't know where it came from because I didn't feel like crying. I didn't want to cry. I just kept crying and crying and crying. And then my friend had to obviously get tissue um, from the bathroom so that I could stop crying. But I was just uncontrollably crying and that's when I felt the spirit of God in the room. I felt it and I could not, you know, disregard it. I could not remove myself from it because it was the spirit of God in the room. And that was just when I um, was like, you know what, like Jesus is, is, is my Lord. God has shown me and revealed to me who he was to me. And that is Jesus Christ, you know? I've never felt his love like this before. 
like I would just randomly cry um, through songs of people worshipping him. I would just cry and that's not because I'm crying, it's because of my spirit inside is just connected to this love that he pours on all of us, not just believers but even unbelievers. He He loves us so much and yeah man I just I can't fathom like I can't fathom God's love that he has for us um and I just wanted to know him not from my understanding but from his understanding of who he says he is because his thoughts are better than our thoughts and I knew that that was the only way I could really find God um by just not being trapped by any other belief but just allow him to direct me so I was in no way influenced by my friends my friends were very much surprised when I converted to um, Christianity because they were Christians they respected me as a Muslim before I converted and yeah it was random for everyone and I'm sure it's random for some of you that I was even a Muslim before because I don't think many people even knew that about me like god is real and i'm just so blessed and thankful that i found christ like he's so evident in my life that you know i can't ignore it and i couldn't ignore it i hope that it inspires you to test your faith um and really know god for who he is and not what you're taught but by what he says to you directly. I think it's so important for us to establish a relationship with God. That's something that I've never had before like this. I've never had a relationship like this with God that I can just speak to him directly without the influence of other people telling me who God is. I've felt him and I've experienced enough to know that Christ is God and that will never change regardless of if I believe it or someone else doesn't believe it he he never changes and that's the level of understanding that I've gotten to and I'm just so grateful to have gotten to this point so I just pray that this testimony blesses you all um whatever background you come from and I hope it inspires you to really know the depths of God and question yourself like do you really know who he is and if you do that's great but if you're unsure if there is doubt in your heart like really truly just seek him with your whole heart by praying to him and asking him who he is because I had to do that in order to see the beautiful things that God had revealed to me along my journey so yeah i hope it blesses you um god bless you all um may we continue to fight the good fight of faith and you know seek god wholeheartedly in all of our ways so i just want to pray over anyone that would like to give their life to christ today based on the experiences that they have had that they feel like jesus is calling them i just want to pray over you today um, so repeat after me, dear God, I am a sinner and need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ shed his precious blood and died for my sins. I am willing to change and turn from my sin. I now invite Jesus Christ to come into my heart and life as my personal saviour. But as many as received him to them, he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. You have been saved by Christ Jesus and I congratulate you. Um, and I just thank you for all of you just listening to my testimony um, and for those who have given their life to Christ today um, please send me an email and I'll send you a lot of resources that can help you on your journey with Christ I'm so excited for you God bless you all and have a lovely evening day morning 
whatever the day is. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys another time. Bye.